One thing other people didn't know, including myself, is the IKEA Gurton tabletop comes unfinished, meaning that any drink that sweats on the table will leave a ring behind. Now I must say, some YouTubers and other content creators almost convinced me that I need a 70 inch desk or longer, but the IKEA Gurton tabletop has great dimensions for working or playing. Here's how I use mine. Man, had to put in some elbow grease for that one. Let's talk about the IKEA Gurton tabletop. Now, when IKEA says that they are DIY, do it yourself, you know, put it together yourself, they are not playing. One thing I didn't know is that this tabletop comes unfinished. It doesn't say that on the IKEA website, at least I don't think so. I didn't look at the fine details, but I really think it doesn't say that on the website. And when you look at reviews, other people didn't know this as well. As a result, I picked up some polyurethane, some sandpaper, sanded it down, then did about two or three coats of the polyurethane before I actually got to use my desk. I'll put a link in the description below for the polyurethane, the sandpaper that I use, just in case you're interested in buying. Something else that you may want to know about this tabletop is that it has pre-drilled holes at the bottom of it. So if you have some legs that you want to attach, you can easily line that up with the holes and just drill it in. When it comes to picking out your tabletop, I highly suggest going into an IKEA store and picking out your own. Why? People complain about the nicks and the dings that they get when they have the tabletop delivered to their home. But when you go to the store, you can, well, you can technically inspect the package because it comes plastic wrapped and in a uh, cardboard box. You can take a look at it, you know, especially if you're going to be buying it. Don't cut something up and then do all that and mess it up and then not buy it. But the stuff that's delivered, I'm sure it gets banged up, dinged up. So your best bet is to buy this in store if you can. That is definitely true also for the lemon tabletop since that tabletop is so fragile, you wanna pick it up in store because when it comes to shipping, it's definitely gonna get banged up. Now, this is not paid, this is not sponsored. I just wanna make this video for you guys because I'm really enjoying my setup with the Gurton tabletop. The dimensions are perfect. You know, I have the monitor set on one side and on the other side, if you're a student, you know, you have plenty of room to draw or do whatever else on the other side of the table. Not to mention this wood color is mwah. When you get this tabletop, don't even stain it. Just sand it down and use polyurethane just to get that natural coat on it. You can see from the thumbnail how I've used this tabletop in overhead shots and other photography pics that I have at my desktop. As you can see with my setup, it looks great with the black backdrop. And I've seen photos with white setups where it looks great as well. Because this is a wooden tabletop, if you have scratches on it, dings, you know, it truly is whatever because that adds, you know, character to your desktop. And if you just want to stain it a different color, the good thing is that you can. When you look at reviews of this tabletop, some people have said, you know, if I would have known that this, you know, came unfinished, I would have just went to Home Depot or Lowe's and just grabbed a, you know, piece of wood from there and just did it myself, which isn't a bad idea, especially considering how this tabletop is, uh, what is it, it's sold out in many locations on the IKEA website. Side note, make sure you check the stock of whatever you're looking for before you go to IKEA. But my response to that is, I don't know if you can beat the color of this and the price point and the dimension, especially the, the, the depth of it, but that's just my two cents.